Hello Stampers! Welcome back to the Love Today Planner Kit Series. Today we are going to decorate um, our October monthly spread. Okay, So the first thing I need to do is let's go ahead and take the pages out that we're going to be decorating because that's a whole lot easier than trying to do it while inside the book. Okay, Close that up and set that one aside. Okay, so what I typically do is I will decorate my monthly spread, okay? Um, and I like to do it using all Stampin' Up! supplies just to kind of challenge myself um, to use it. So what I want to do, let's go ahead and turn back to our first page here um, of the month, which is our page that looks like it has different types of post-it notes, okay? And what I had done before, um, if you guys watched last month's video, is I have started using this stamp set called Tabs for Everything, and I love it because it's got all kinds of good tabs um, and, and toppers in it um, for what you would need for different categories on here. But before I stamp with that, um, I wanted to let you know that the main thing that we are going to be using today to decorate October is this gorgeous um, designer series paper pack um, that is out in the holiday catalog right now. It is called Spooky Night Designer Series Paper, and it is all kinds of Halloween-themed uh, papers. Now, I don't have a lot of Halloween stamp sets um, because I don't send out a lot of Halloween cards. So I decided for this month's spread, we're going to stamp very little, and we're mainly going to be using our designer series paper. Okay, so the first thing I want to do on this page here before I, um, before I do any stamping is I'm going to um, cut a square from this piece of designer series paper. Now this one is so much fun um, and it comes with 16 different squares of this looking tree. Okay, and a lot of that is really good if you're going to be making cards, but I also like it for my planner. Okay, so I already cut out a square here, and what I want to do is I want to use my adhesive, and I'm just going to put a piece down here in the corner. Now, it's not going to take up that much room for anything that I'm doing, um, and it just kind of gives it a cool look. Okay, now um, it's really cute. There is a stamp set that has an owl featured in it um, for um, this particular thing. But again, I didn't buy the stamp set. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, we're going to, this is another piece of paper that's in the set um, that is, has all kinds of kitty cats on it. And I think it is super cute. And we even have a punch to coordinate with it. And it is meant to coordinate with the paper. Okay, so it is super, super fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cat up in my tree. Okay, so I'm just going to punch out the cat, which is so much easier than fussy cutting. And he is going to sit right there up in my tree. Okay, put a little bit of adhesive on him, put him in my tree, and he is set to go. Okay, now for my things I want to stamp on here for my categories... Um, just a couple because I'm still playing with my planner and trying to decide, you know, what I want my categories to be and stuff. But I did like the idea of a to-do. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that there. I also have one that I didn't have last time that I'm going to try, and that is goals. And then I also just like to have some space to take some notes, so I'm just going to do the little note one right there. Okay. Now, that's all I'm going to do to decorate that page, um, so I'm ready to turn it and move on. Okay. Now, before I do anything on here, I am going to stamp the one thing um, that I want to stamp on here, and that is the word Happy Halloween. Okay. And Happy Halloween is this little stamp right here I'm going to use. And it is from, I have to say, one of my all-time favorite stamp sets, which is called Teeny Tiny Wishes. Okay, um, I have had this stamp set so long, I even have it in wood. Um, so that tells you how old it is. But this set is still available in the catalog. And it has every kind of holiday or occasion that you could possibly need. Um, and it is a phenomenal stamp set, and I do use it quite often. So what I want to do is I'm just going to come down here to, to October 31st, and I'm just going to stamp Happy Halloween across there, okay? All right, now I can close up my stamp pad. All right, 
So, like I said, a lot of what I'm going to be doing is used with the designer series paper, okay? So one thing I want to do, I went through and I numbered all my dates, but now I've got the rest of this row and this whole row down here without numbers in them. So what I want to do is I want to cover them up with some of our designer series paper. Again, this paper is in the same pack as the others, okay? And what I did was I measured for this area down here, and it is five and three eighths by one and one eighth. Okay, so I'm just going to put my adhesive on here. I'm going to line this up and decorate that strip right there. Okay, I also want to cover up this strip. When I measured it, it was four and an eighth by one and one eighth. Okay. Again, I'm just going to put my adhesive on here. Lay that on here and do that like that. Okay, now I think I like a little something up here. So I'm going to use this particular piece of designer series paper that has a ton of pumpkins on it. And you will notice that in between the bigger ones, there are little pumpkins. So I went ahead and I cut out three little pumpkins that I just want to put in this area right up here. Okay, now I have the best luck with little things like that with using our multi-purpose Tombow glue. It's one of my favorite glues. I do love it. I think it is easy to control and I can just get a little amount if that's what I need. Okay, we're just kind of randomly going to put these on here. Just like that. Okay. Now, kind of want to fill up these spaces here and up here, okay? So as long as I have my paper, my pumpkin paper out, I am going to show you that I cut out three pumpkins here that I'm going to put just across here like that. Now I will tell you, I did cut these out ahead of time because you really don't want to sit here and watch me cut out all of these pumpkins. But I am going to have you watch me cut out one in just a minute so I can kind of give you some tips and tricks for making fuzzy cutting easier for you. Okay, so there's that. Now down along here, because I've actually got quite a bit of space, I thought that would be the perfect place for another cat. So we are going to, I'm going to turn my paper over here, and I'm going to use one of these orange cats because he's so cute. And let's also cut our paper a little bit here. And let's use another black cat. Okay, so I am going to put these little cats just right down there like that. Okay, let's put some adhesive on him. And some adhesive on him. And they're perfect right there. Okay, now I still have this little space across here. Okay, I just like to put in all my spaces just to fill it all up. So I did go ahead and cut out another pumpkin and I'm going to put him right there, but he does need one more. Okay, so we're going to cut out this one right here. Okay. What I do, since a 12 by 12 is a big piece of paper to be working with, I like to just cut out roughly around it to start with. Okay, then I don't have all that to mess with. Then I'm ready to start cutting. Now, when I fussy cut, I always leave just a slight white edge around my item that I'm cutting. I just think it looks better than trying to cut directly on the line or on the edge. Okay. Now you will notice too, as I'm cutting, what you need to do, keep your scissors always facing forward and move your paper around that is cutting. Okay, so see how I'm kind of twisting this pumpkin, kind of turning him slightly? That is the easiest way to get the nicest cut when you're fussy cutting something. Okay, and there he is right there. So we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here. He's gonna go right here. Little adhesive here, and he's going to go right there. 
All right, now see, piece of cake. You don't have to have stamps to be able to decorate your planners. This was completely done using designer series paper, except for the Happy Halloween right there. And again, the tabs um, for everything stamp set that we used right there. All right, um, I know that we're already into October and I'm putting this video out. So I'm going to get our uh, November page video out um, before the end of this month, so be watching for it. Thanks for stopping by.